This video will demonstrate how to use AQTime in Visual Studio test projects. The integration allows extending Visual Studio test projects with AQTime projects and then running those projects as part of Visual Studio tests. AQTime provides a new test type for Visual Studio test projects called an AQTime test. You can add test items of this type to Visual Studio test projects and run the AQTime projects as part of the Visual Studio tests. AQTime projects can also be included into team builds and run on the build computers. And if you use Visual Studio 2010, AQTime can run on test and build computers where Visual Studio is not installed. To make this functionality available, install AQTime on a computer that has one of these versions of Visual Studio installed. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate AQTime projects into Visual Studio test projects. The first thing you need to do to extend your Visual Studio test projects with AQTime is to prepare the AQTime project that you want to run during the test process. You need to specify the modules to profile, select the profiling areas, set up any necessary triggers and actions, and so on. I already have a platform compliance project prepared, so let's move on. So the first thing I'm going to do is come into Visual Studio and create a new project. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to create a new test project, and I'll keep the default name of Test Project 1 and click OK. And as you can see here, my test project has been created. Now I want to add an AQTime test item to the project. So to do this, I bring up the Add New Test dialog. We'll say Add New Test. I'll make sure the AQTime test object is selected. I'm going to name it My AQTime Test and click OK. OK, and we can see that the AQTime test item has been added here in the Solution Explorer. Now when the AQTime test gets added to the project, the editor panel that you see right here gets invoked, and this allows you to enter in some test parameters for the AQTime project. So the first thing I want to do is specify the AQTime project that I want to run. So in this case, I'm going to click on this ellipses button here and browse out to where my AQTime project lives. Okay, so here it is. I'll click open. And now I want to choose the profiler that will be used for testing. Only three profilers are available here in test projects. Those are the platform compliance profiler, the allocation profiler, and the resource profiler. The allocation and resource profilers launch the tested application during the analysis, and you have to either perform the required user operations over the application or simulate them using a tool like TestComplete. To keep things simple today, we're going to use the platform compliance profiler in our tutorial since it doesn't actually launch the tested application and we don't need to perform user actions over it. Now before we start testing we need to add the AQTime test to the list of tests to be executed. So to do that we want to open the test list editor. And now we're going to create a new test list. So I'm just going to right click on this guy here say new test list and I'm going to call that my test list. Next I want to select my AQTime test in the all loaded tests list and add it to that new test list we just created. So I'll come over here and I'm just going to drag it right onto my test list. There we go. So now I'm going to enable my test and I can execute this test by clicking run checked tests. So we'll just right click and there we go. The test starts and it launches the specified AQTime project that performs the profiling of the specified modules and assemblies. This can take a moment so we can actually watch the progress down here in the test results panel. After the test is finished, we can see whether it passed successfully or not. In this case, the My AQTime test routine has failed because of some errors that have occurred. I can just double click on this failure message here to get a more detailed report of what went on. And in looking at this, we can see that we have some modules here that are not supported by Windows NT. So this profiler found that not all platforms are going to support the API calls used by this application. Visual Studio test projects extended with AQTime projects, like the ones that we've just created, can be included into team builds and run on the build machine. You just need to create a team build and in the build definition dialog add the AQTime tests to the list of the build's automated tests. After Team Foundation finishes building, it'll launch AQTime to begin application profiling. If you use Visual Studio 2010, you can also run these test projects remotely on other computers that are running test controllers. To do this, you need to specify a test controller to use in your test project settings and then run that test. The test controller launches AQTime on the remote computer and executes the specified AQTime project. There's no need to have Visual Studio installed on the test controller machines. You can find more information about this in the AQTime documentation. This concludes our video on how to extend your Visual Studio test projects with AQTime. 
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy working with AQTime.